A, B, C, D is a kite. So that means that this length here will be the same as this length here. This length here will be the same as this length here. These two angles will be equal, and also these two angles will be equal. It says work out the area of the kite, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. So if we draw it here, what we need to do is draw in a line and realize that we have two identical or two congruent triangles. Congruent means they're exactly the same size. So the area of the kite A, B, C, D is the area of these two identical triangles. So what have we got here? We've got two sides and the included angle. So we have two sides and the included angle. So to find the area in that case, it would be a half of, of the triangle only this is times A times B times the sine of B. So it'll be half AC sine B in this case. However, however, we just, because we want to find the area of the whole shape, we don't need to multiply by half, we just want two times that because we want two times the area. So the two and a half will cancel out. So all we needed to do is do AC sine B. So the area will be 10.3 times 8.2 times the sine of 112 on your calculator making sure your calculator is in degree mode put those numbers in and you'll get 78.309 centimeters squared give the answer to three significant figures so that zero will have no effect on that three therefore the final answer will be 78.3 centimeters squared to three significant figures so this has been a video to show you how to find the area of a kite using some trigonometry. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.